So this is an apparatus to produce ultra-cold atomic matter. Uh, this is where we produce atoms that are as cold as anything else in the universe, a million times colder than deep space. The atoms here are cooled to micro degrees, millionth of a degree above absolute zero. The reason why we do this, our motivation, is to study something called the Bose-Einstein condensate. And the Bose-Einstein condensate was predicted by Bose and Einstein back in the 1920s. It wasn't observed until about 20 years ago uh, in labs such as this one, where uh, the atoms are so cold that they form a quantum mechanical wave, a single wave object. So what we're studying here in particular in this experiment is something called a matter wave soliton. So atoms can behave as particles and they can behave as waves. One of the most interesting wave phenomena is something called a soliton, which is a object, a wave, a wave packet, a group of, of somehow waves together that can propagate without changing shape, without uh, changing velocity, without spreading. We're studying how these solitons collide with each other. So we make two of them on opposite sides of a one-dimensional tube and we shoot them at each other and we see how they scatter and how they interact and then look at, at the end of that at the process of the soliton interaction. Now, solitons, the defining feature is that they go through one another without slowing down, without changing their velocity. And what we found is that, that is indeed true, even in this matter wave case, but it exhibits some really surprising and counterintuitive effects. It looks like the solitons bounce off of each other. But in fact, they do go through one another, and we could see that by making one smaller than the other. We can see, in fact, that the small one started here, and it ends up over there. And so all of these are giving us new intuition about this incredible wave phenomena, but in this regime of ultra-cold matter rather than in optics. Our goal in this work is to better understand quantum mechanics, to understand it at a deeper level. And the practical applications of this are that uh, as we miniaturize electronic devices and make them smaller and smaller, quantum effects become more and more important. And so by understanding fundamental nature of quantum mechanics, we'll in the end be able to apply that knowledge to better uh, devices.